So I've decided that I'm not going to use uh, galvanized strap hinges for this. Um, I think they would bend under a lot of stress. Um, I looked at actually getting uh, pinnels and gungeons, or gungeons and pinnels. Gungeons are apparently the ones with the holes in them. And putting them on here, but uh, you know what? Once I get a full set, we're talking about 60 bucks. And uh, I'm not really interested. It's not really exactly what I want. So what I'm going to do, I have some stainless here. I am going to weld up uh, some gungeons to go on here with the hole in it. And um, as far as the pentels, they will just go on the board and a couple pieces of this strapping. You can't see that. And the, uh, the pentels are the part that go on the uh, cross beam of the tie rod. Will just be a couple pieces of the strapping here that extend past the end of the board with some holes in it, one above and one below the uh, gungeon, and then I will run a, a short. Uh, quarter inch bolt or something through that and that will be really strong that would actually tear the wood apart before it, before it come apart so that's what I'm going to work on today um, it shouldn't be that hard I think I'm going to bend this I have a press that can bend it uh, and worst case I can clamp this in a vise and bend it as well and uh, then I will weld um, a couple piece of the stainless rod from the uh, Yako hinges I will cut a little piece of that uh, drill a hole in the center of it for the pins and uh, should be sad I think I've got enough materials to do that. So here's what I've come up with for the uh, tie rod and connection for the rudder to the center pivot for the tiller. Uh, this is a gungeon that I built uh, just out of strap stainless steel. I used some of the 5 8 uh, rod that I got for the uh, Yakko folding hinges uh, to make a pivot there. It's a quarter inch bolt which will shear off at thousands of psi so I'm not worried about this. This uh, cross piece is actually solid oak here. Uh, I made it just slightly larger than the one inch strap so there's a little bit of play here. Uh, these is going to have some through bolts going, four little through bolts going through into the oak, one on each side. I think that will be plenty strong enough. Uh, the weak point, if anything, will be the center hinge that I welded up there, and I think that'll be fine. I still haven't quite figured out how I want to do the tiller here. I do want to make it tilt up, but I haven't quite figured out the mechanism yet, so I'm still toying with ideas on that. What I'm going to use, do is I'm going to use the defects in this board. I'm actually going to put this uh, slot right where this knot is. And then the uh, bolt will actually go through this really dense grain right here. So that will give me from here to here as far as the length. So I think that's going to work great. I'm going to
Thank <laughs> you.